Well, some stunning surveillance video from a restaurant in southwest Houston. Police say a robber who held up the business with a fake gun was killed by a customer with a real one. And now police are looking for that customer to talk about what happened. ABC 13's Karen Alvarez spoke to the owner of the restaurant about those terrifying moments. Karen, you're joining us live right now, and you're going to show us more of that surveillance video, right? That's right, and actually the video was very hard to watch. We actually had to blur some of those portions out. And in talking to the owner, he tells me this is the first time something like this has happened. He's gone through a vandalism, robbery, but nothing like what happened last night. A terrifying experience for customers and employees inside this Southwest Houston restaurant. Pues, están asustados, nerviosos. Lo mismo yo también. Owner of the Ranchito Taqueria, Pedro Lopez, says he and his employees are still in shock after police say a man accused of robbing several customers ended up dead. In this surveillance video given to ABC 13, you can see customers dropping to the floor after this man wearing all black begins shouting and waving what appears to be a gun at customers. Police say the man had walked inside the restaurant and started demanding money. That's when police say this man took out his gun and fired multiple shots killing the robber. Investigators say the shooter then collected the stolen money and gave it back to customers before they all rushed out, as seen in this video. This image shows the alleged shooter's truck, a 70s or 80s model pickup with no bed. The man is now wanted for questioning. And even though the restaurant was back in business this morning, Lopez says he's thankful none of his customers or employees ended up hurt. And just a couple of minutes ago, one of the employees was out here cleaning up that shattered glass from last night's event. I'm told uh, from police that the suspect's gun ended up being a fake one. Reporting live in southwest Houston, Karen Alvarez, ABC 13 Eyewitness News. All right, Karen, thank you.